Good afternoon, I'm Carter Johnson. I'm here at Sea Airspace Day 2. I'm here at uh, Lados. They have two USVs on display, and I'm here speaking with... Hi, my name is Jeff Bowles. And we're going to be discussing on the background of these two USVs and the current updates that they're bringing uh, to the fleet and the US Navy, and we're looking forward to hearing about it. So kind of the, the overview question, can you explain a little bit about both of these USVs and, and what both of them provide? Absolutely. So the first vessel uh, is going to be the one that's longer here in the back. Uh, that is called ALPV, and it's a low-profile vessel specifically developed to be uh, hard to see, right? Hide in plain sight. So we keep the freeboard low, and it's designed for contested logistics for the Marine Corps. We've got two vessels in their hands now that they're operating and playing with and learning how to use the USV to make maximum advantage for what they're trying to achieve. And we've got a third vessel under construction which is expected to deliver next month. So that is a Sea Spectre, and that is uh, designed primarily for contested logistics for the Marines. The other vessel is Sea Archer, and uh, we've developed that on IRAD within uh, Lido Skips and Cox. And that is a fast vessel, where uh, Sea Spectre is a very slow vessel, meant to hide in plain sight with a low profile. Sea Archer can get up on top of the water and really move. It brings exceptional range and speed capabilities uh, like no other small USV that's out there today. And so. The larger of the two, uh, you mentioned, is for contested logistics, and uh, what's the what's the production like on that? You know, you, you said you have one more under construction, but moving forward, do you think you're going to get uh, some more orders? Is the is the Marine testing and the testing that you've done successful so far? That's a great question. So we've had great success, and we understand that the Marines really like the platform. In fact, uh, not too long ago, they had a great advertisement that said the vessel was so easy to use that they t taught a cook how to operate it in 24 hours or something like that. So uh, the Marines are very pleased with it. Uh, there's a lot of still growing and changing that we're doing to try to make the platform better. Uh, will they have another prototype vessel or move straight to production? I'm not sure yet. Uh, so we'll have to see what the, would take shape for the Marines. And the smaller of the two, the, the high-speed uh, USV that you have under development, mm -hmm. Same kind of question, you know, what's the testing looking like for that moving forward? Where do you see it going? Uh, that vessel was uh, delivered to us uh, late last year, and we've got it on the water now, and we're running testing to bring the autonomy to that platform. Uh, so it is evolving and it is operating. We've um, completed all of the builder's trials and all of the platform hardening, so it's reliable. The platform is ready to go. And we envision to do a couple of high stakes maneuvers later this summer, perhaps uh, a nice uh, transit somewhere long and uh, noteworthy. Um, but really, uh, payloads are what it's all about. That vessel is more because of the speed. It's, it's meant to do things other than be slow like a turtle and contested logistics in the water. And so from that perspective, there's an awful lot that we can do with different mission systems. Lidos is a great mission system company, and so we're looking to integrate some of those payloads onto the vessel this summer for demonstrations. And same thing for the uh, logistics vessel. Kind of, you mentioned that the Marines are super interested in it, but are there other branches? You know, is the Navy and the Army also expressing interest in this system? You know, the, the Army really is focusing more on the Indo-Pacific. The Navy thinks that they can bring more of these USVs uh, into the fold quickly as possible. So, uh, Army has more boats than the Navy does, and that's definitely a boat, not a ship. So, uh, there's a lot of synergies that can go and work, uh, especially in the Pacific Theater, which is kind of the interest now. Um, we've got uh, a long legs on that vessel. It's capable of traveling over 2,500 nautical miles. So. You could sit and dispatch that from Hawaii or Guam and get all the way over to, uh, to Asia with it. So um, there's a lot of capability in that platform. It can carry 10 tons of payload, which is uh, you know no small feat. That's a lot of resupplies that can be delivered to our troops when they need them. Perfect. That was a that was fantastic. Thank you for the uh, update on both of these vessels. Uh, looking forward to seeing where they go. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to talk with us. It's a busy sea airspace, that's for sure. I've never seen a place so busy as this. So we appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome.